Hola, beautiful people. Want to see an obsession that I have? Pens. And that is not all of them. I have a bag, couple bags, and it's just bad. I just can't help it, but I love them. And I actually, so I kept going to this bank or to drop off money, and just every time I just get a new pen. And um, did that for years. So I basically own half the bank in pens. And, um, well, here we are now talking about INTP <laughs> relationships. Yeah, great segue. Oh, so actually this was a question by a YouTuber um, under the name of Mila, I believe, M-I-L-A. Um, just kind of wanting to know a little bit more about what an INTP needs in um, relationships, even just friendships or, or romantic um, besides just kind of the initial interaction, and that's kind of like mostly what my videos are on. So, um, with people that I find myself most engaged with um, uh, are under these different categories. So one, they are more genuine as an individual. They do not have um, walls set up in their heart that keeps me from engaging with their truer person if that makes sense. Um, and so they're, they're capable of um, being vulnerable. They're capable of, of uh, not, um, I guess, hiding themselves and always drawing themselves to practical elements. Um, like with, say, only talking about sports, um, but we never get really to talk about, like, how you feel about something or how you think about something or how what you believe about or a thought process that you have people that only like focus on um an, an exterior interest um become very difficult to become personal and uh, relatable because um they only depend on like sports or politics or whatever but some people that are impersonal um they really um, attract to you know, uh, film or politics, and they'll they'll talk it to death, but they very rarely get to talk in a personal manner um, that self re reflects themselves or kind of reveals the inner parts of them. So, um, people that I value most are people that are able and capable of kind of self reflecting and not being so afraid of. Um, displaying themselves. We can talk about something practical like music or something, but as long as we can have that um, personal vulnerable um, communication, uh, then that is very helpful for me to be able to trust them and appreciate them and, and whatnot, because that's a sphere that because I, I communicate in that way. And when <laughs> a lot of the time when people hear that kind of communication, they actually freak out and um, kind of bolt out of the conversation or don't know really what to do because they're not as self-reflective. So, um, in a relationship, I would want someone who is vulnerable with me. So I guess and that's in the simplest term to say. Um, another one is, uh, it's very much, it's very, it's valuable um, to, to have someone who is a visionary, who, because um, this one may not be so on that vulnerable personal side. This is more kind of guess that our practical is an abstract. <laughs> um, but I really like when people... Um, but there's a certain kind of visionary. Um, there's certain visionaries where it's just like, things are just kind of thrown out there. Ah, I think it's because like certain people, when they create a vision, it is derived from their inner being and there's a connection between their vision and what they truly love. Some people are visionary, but they don't recognize how it um, attaches to them, and so it becomes an impersonal vision. It's just a goal, or a, or, or a, or I guess a goal that they want to um, charge the castle for, or whatever, to to accomplish it. But it's not really a personal um, passion, I guess, and so. Um, I find, yeah, like ENFPs, for instance, there's one ENFP friend of mine where uh, they're very visionary, but also their vision is highly influenced by their internal passion, which makes them a vulnerable person, um, and just their vision is personal, 
and I can relate to them in that way because they're not hiding their truer person from me. Um, when, I inter when, in when I interact with other INTPs, I feel like I have to be the counterpart to bring that, um, bring a side of them that they, that they would reveal if they were around an ENFP. And it's kind of exhausting. But um, we at least get to engage in a visionary aspect. Uh, Josiah, on some of my videos, um, were that way, where he's, he's very visionary um, as well. And we can, we can um, kind of bask in the, in the vision together while maintaining um, like a personal aspect to it. Though, to make it more fruitious, I one of us has to be the counterpart. <laughs> and so I kind of find myself having to be that. Anyway. Um, so yeah, being personal and, and excited for some kind of vision or, or, or purpose or whatnot. Um, and I find that also people that, that just have good conversation, like talk to me, <laughs> um, share with me something important to you, share with me something that you value, share with me, um, your struggles and your, and your, um, um, insecurities and things like that. I really much value that kind of information, but I'm not going to say every INTP is the same in that way. Um. So I'm a INTP five wing four, and I find that four side that I find myself a little more emotionally engaging than other INTPs, um, and so that might create a little bit of a distant or difference between other INTPs uh, and uh, what they truly value in other people and, and whatnot. Because when, because some of the stuff I'm talking about is a little bit emotional driven, and so it can seem um, illogical or or whatnot to other INTs potentially. Um, but my motivation, I guess, is more of a psychological connection and I really love um, that kind of atmosphere of conversation or just that way of thought and every all these emotional kind of things are more psychological. And actually, I find myself bored with, um, with let's say, ENTPs and people that... Are a little bit more of the head but not recognizing the heart I guess um, because this is what creates the humanity but if you're so, so stuck in the head then you're then you're kind of bound to information and you can't fully um, articulate yourself or explore yourself and reveal yourself for other people to enjoy I suppose or experience or or witness so, um, yeah, so I guess I would hope that other INTPs kind of favor that other, that same, that same, um, things, but I think also other INTPs might really enjoy like an INTJ, um, maybe even the ENTP as well, um, where, um, or even an E, does say ENTJ, but also ENTP, both of them, um, if they're more cognitively driven, so if they're like a five wing six, I think they would be a lot more engaged with someone who um, who contemplates systems and uh, the more <laughs> brainy side of things um, and tearing down complex structures with someone. Um, that is something I, I do enjoy doing that and there's some people I, I do that with and I guess my complicated structure that I love tearing down is the, is the human mind. Um, but it's harder to do that with people that are not so vulnerable and don't like to uh, engage in the emotional side of things. Um, and so maybe other INTPs, while conceptually are similar, they value more of being able to share or take part in a deconstruction with someone who values um, information more than emotions and all that stuff. When I was younger, though, I definitely valued more of the informational side of things and wanted to be around people that only um, valued uh, deconstructing systems and, and finding out the complications of the, the, all that kind of stuff. But as I grew older, I, I found myself more engaged with people that are more hu human, if that makes sense, um, the more emotive side, the, the passion in the heart and whatnot. Because um, I find there are deep mysteries hidden within those um, realms 
um, because they they are telling and revealing of the human spirit, and I think those reveal certain mysteries of our existence. So I found those to be more vol or valuable, especially with story writing and whatnot. I find myself more engaged and interested in that kind of realm because you need that in order to create certain story structures and stuff. So, yeah, anyway, it's 10 minutes. Um, I would like to hear you, INTPs. What do you value in relationships, either in romantic or um, or, or uh, just friend-wise? There's another thing, though, I think. Um, so, like, more on a relationship basis. Um, taking your time, giving your time to me is, is, is telling to me to show that that you appreciate me, I guess. Um, if um, you, I don't know if, if that makes sense. Like, anyway, that's pretty much mostly. It. Oh, or and also like, I guess touch. I wonder. I haven't really been in any kind of romantic relationship in a long time, and really, not really even ever. It's been in a whole bunch of interests, but they've never gone anywhere. So I wouldn't really even know <laughs> what I value in a romantic relationship. So <laughs> that's pretty embarrassing. Um, but like, I don't know, doing things that show that you care. That sounds like everybody, I suppose. Um, I love notes and letters. Um, it it's, shows your commitment. And I guess when I'm talking to people I'm interested in, I've always valued when they take time to write out their message rather than just kind of throwing something together. Um, it just shows that it's just respectful, I guess, and I, because I do the same thing to them. I want them to understand what I'm trying to say. I want to try to be clear, um, and I'm sh I'm showing my my respect by by giving them a message that is well thought out. And so I I, I I'm showing their my appreciation of them in that way. But then also choosing to spend time with them. Um, so I guess if you choose to spend time with me or whatnot, then that. That is something that I very much value, um, rather than you just kind of always or like some person like they in a relation in a more romantic relationship, if they disregard time with me, and try to communicate through gifts or encouragement or whatnot or um, pretty much any of the other love languages, it won't, I it won't uh, come to my ears as as affection as much as you just choosing to spend your time with me. So I guess that's something that's important as well. So but anyways, other INTPs, um, what do you desire in a friendship or relationship that will help you thrive? Let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you in another video, another life you never, 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 never know. Huh! All right, peace. Huh!